Law Warrior Online, Ferret Light Scout VTOL. Overview. The Ferret Light Scout VTOL is a Federated Sun's reconnaissance tilt rotator craft from the manufacturer that built the Boomerang spotter plane. First issued to Davian troops in 2904, the Ferret is now also in service with Steiner, Marek, and some worlds of the periphery. A single Ferret can effectively patrol a front 10 to 20 kilometers long. With its high speed abilities, it can move quickly from area to area, while its VTOL capabilities permit it to disregard obstacles that would stop a ground recon unit. Although the ferret's organic offensive capabilities are almost non-existent, it can call in long-range artillery fire and maintain contact with the enemy until a more suitable attack force moves into the area. To further augment its reconnaissance role, the ferret can drop remote sensors and a monitoring set onto one zone, then move on to the other and patrol that, while still monitoring the first potential problem area. Though it serves so well on screening operations, the ferret speed and troop carrying ability make it effective in counterinsurgency operations, standard reconnaissance missions, rear area insertions and extractions, battlefield pilot recovery, infantry squad transport, and as a spotter for artillery or other combat units. Capabilities The ferret's limited armor protection is its prime disadvantage. To keep payload and speed up, the designers use just enough armor to stop small arms fire. A hit from just about any mech weapon system can bring it down. This vulnerability isn't considered critical, however, because the ferret's mission is to avoid combat. A ferret is able to stay well outside the effective range of any hostile unit, but can still keep it under observation. The ferret's design keeps its offensive armament to a minimum for the same reason. It would use its main fire minigun only in self-defense against the occasional infantry platoon that it may pass over. Another interesting feature is the Ferret's ISBM Lantern Targeting and Tracking System. In addition to its normal targeting capabilities, the heads-up display ISBM can also plug into any standard remote sensor monitoring set. The Ferret's cargo bay can carry up to 15 remote sensor units and a monitoring set in a vertical drop chute. When the pilot flies over an area he wishes to continuously observe, he just flips a switch and a sensor drops out. Any activity is then reported to the monitoring set and passed on to the Lantern system, which incorporates the information as part of the pilot's heads-up display. Battle History In March 2915, House Curita landed three mech regiments along with 12 support infantry and armour regiments on Tamar, the provincial capital of the Tamar Pact. Opposing them were the Stealthy Tigers, two light mech battalions from the Eridani Light Horse, and five infantry and armour regiments of the Liran Commonwealth. During the opening stages of the battle, the 54th Combined Arms Combat Team advanced against a drop zone held by light and medium mechs of the 4th Proserpina Hussars. As the 54th approached the landing zone, their commanding officer, Colonel Richard Gunston, ordered a company of infantry with their attached ferrets to make an air mobile assault into the centre of the Curita landing zone. Meanwhile, the rest of the regiment stuck the perimeter. The slaughter was tremendous. As soon as the ferrets came within range, the Curitans blasted them out of the sky. The VTOL's armor was useless against the firepower of the mechs. The sight of six ferrets being turned into fiery pyres was too much for the rest of the ground assault elements. They broke and ran, pursued closely by a company of Curitan mechs. Five months later, a much battered and bruised 54th combat, Combined Arms combat team once again faced a force from the 4th Proserpina Hussars and Tamar. In a flanking maneuver that was intended to encircle the capital, the 4th was steadily pushing the 54th back. The 54th's new commander, Hauptmann Commandant Jennifer Miller, knew that she would have to make a stand in the Remini Hills, just 50 kilometers away, or else the Curitan forces would be able to link up and cut off the city garrison. She also knew that her regiment couldn't fight off the whole force of the Hussars, no matter where the fight took place. She therefore ordered her remaining ferrets and a company of infantry to raid the Hussars' rear areas. The ferrets weren't to engage directly in combat, their mission being to locate convoys, supply dumps, and maintenance points, and then try to ferry infantry in to attack these targets. The ferrets and infantry did their job superbly. They scattered remote sensors all along roads and trails, and then lifted the infantry into ambush positions after spotting a convoy. The infantry were able to destroy maintenance units and rearming points. In the course of three days, the raiders had destroyed three ammunition convoys, one repair platform, one locust that was under repair, and two communication relay centers. Believing that a battalion of commandos were operating in their rear area, the 4th slowed their advance and detached a battalion of light mechs for rear area security. 
So it was that when the Hussars did assault the 54th position in the Remini Hills, they were under strength and facing an enemy who had the time to carefully prepare its defence. The 54th fought the Hussars to a standstill, and two months later, the Cretan forces were forced off world. Variants Variants of the ferret abound. Most eliminate the craft's troop carrying capacity in favour of increased armour, thus making the ferret a more robust vehicle. Other variants do the opposite, with all the armour and weaponry removed to make the ferret a light cargo transport. This version is capable of lifting 2.75 tonnes without reducing performance, and 7.75 tonnes with a 50% reduction in airspeed. Notable Vehicles and Crew Hatashi Williams Hatashi Williams is a pilot of the ferret, the Dragonfly. While assigned to an infantry regiment guarding the new Avalon Institute of Science, he got into a rather loud argument with another student regarding the ferret's manoeuvrability. Seeking to give the student a practical demonstration, Hatashi finished off the last of his drink, grabbed the offending student by the scruff of the neck, and proceeded down to the airfield. Strapping himself and his unwilling passenger into the tiny craft, he proceeded to demonstrate the full capabilities of a rotor-wing aircraft. While flying over, between, and under some of the Institute buildings, Hatashi calmly delivered a lecture on combat flying to the student. Needless to say, the student was greatly impressed, but the Institute authorities were not. One court-martial later, Hatashi and the Dragonfly were reassigned to a combat unit on Quentin. Though he was gone, Williams wasn't forgotten by the students and the faculty of the Institute. <laughs>